So you just got a new 3D printer or you have just built yourself a 3D printer kit and you are ready to print. Well, before you go ahead and print, you're going to need to level your bed. And if you've got a Prusa style printer, you might need to level your X axes by adjusting the Z threaded rods or lead screws. My name is Daniel from Mindbot and in this video, I'll show you how to take this nozzle and make sure that it is the correct distance from your bed. That way it is not too close where prints are getting stuck and are impossible to get off, but not so far away that prints aren't sticking to the bed, which is extremely annoying. Annoying. So again, with a new 3D printer, especially a Prusa style, the rods for the x-axis commonly are not straight just because your lead screws aren't exactly straight with uh, the nuts for the x-axis on the left and right side. So I recommend getting two things that are the same size. It's really easy just to use some cans from your pantry, which is why I'm using this crisp corn. And you're just going to go ahead and place one on the right side as close as you can to the uh, fixture and one on the left side as close as you can to the fixture on that side. And then you're going to go ahead and just use your hands, make sure your printer's off and just lower the uh, lead screw or the threaded rod until the bottom of the plastic piece or metal piece or whatever your printer has is lined up with the top of the can. And you just, I just do my best with eyeballing it and that's usually fine. I mean, I get it really, really close. Um, on some printers, you can actually put the can underneath it or the object and have it touch it so you'll know exactly. But um, I've done this many times just by eyeballing it, making sure it's nice and level and I've never run into any problems. So you'll definitely wanna make sure you do this. Otherwise your prints will be lopsided when it's printing on the left side of the bed. It might be up higher than on the right side of the bed. And it's really easy to do. And normally you really just have to do it like once unless something happens with your 3D printer. And once you're done with that, just go ahead and remove the cans and we will move on to leveling the bed. So first you're gonna to need to home your bed. I recommend clamping Tighten your bed as pretty much as much as you can. That way when you home your Z axis, the head, the hot head doesn't go crashing into the bed. And once you do that, you can either home it from your 3D printer if it has the option via an LCD screen. And if not, you can use your software and uh, I'm using Repetier Host to basically click the Z axis to home it. Um, once it's home to make sure you go ahead and unplug your 3D printer just to be safe. And then you're gonna need to take a little piece of printer paper, just blank white printer paper and you're gonna slide it under the nozzle on each of the four corners of the bed. And you're gonna to want to raise the screw on each corner until you can feel the nozzle touching the paper, but you don't want it to be like stuck. You wanna be able to still slide the paper back and forth on the bed between the bed and the nozzle, but you wanna be able to feel the nozzle um, at, at least ever so slightly. If you if it's too tight, like you can't push the paper through smoothly, then that means that it's too close. And if you can't feel the nozzle at all, then that means it's too far away. And so you just basically want to take your time and go through again each of the four corners. Once you're done with the four corners, you're going to want to take the nozzle um, to the center of the bed and make sure that it's good there. If it's not good there, you might have to do some adjustments on the four corners because sometimes it's even though it seems perfect in the four corners, the center of the bed, which is your primarily, you know, the main build area might not necessarily be perfectly level. So it'll take some tweaking, but believe me, it is extremely, extremely worth your while. There is nothing more frustrating than having prints that are either sticking too hard or not sticking at all to the bed. If you don't believe me, seriously, go do a Google search right now of 3D printer, first layer adhesion problems or bed adhesion problems. There is a insane amount of pictures just it's going to show you that it is extremely, extremely important. And once you have done this, hopefully you will be ready to print, um, you know, using whatever adhesion you're planning on using to get the filament sticking to the first layer. So this has been how to level your X axes and the bed on Prusa style machines, at least the i3 and uh, the bed leveling should pretty much go for almost all 3D printers that use the standard four corner adjustments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. And if you want to support the channel more so and get some awesome perks, I will place a link to my Patreon in the comments down below or in the description down below. And uh, it is greatly appreciated. And until next time, guys, once again, this has been Dan from Modbot. Thank you so much for watching and I am out. Peace, guys.